Hello, hello, um, Saray. Hello. Good evening. Good evening. All right, so. Estamos siempre los que. Somos los que somos. Cabal. Pero ya se van a unir los demás. Sí, sí, tiene razón. Así que. Tenemos a Nayansi ahorita también, a ver qué tal. Jueves, ya casi. Ya casi mañana, ¿verdad? Mañana. Sí, mañana. Hasta mañana tenemos para completar el examen, ¿verdad? Sí, de hecho le puedo dar tiempo en clase para que si pueden accesar, lo pueden hacer y yo supervisar, ah. entonces... Así para que no invierta ah, okay. tiempo después, ¿verdad? Entonces. Uh -huh. Está bien. Sí, de eso se trata. Eh, ¿Qué le hace falta? ¿El examen final solamente? Solamente el examen final. En 15 minutos lo hace, sí. lo más. <risa> sí, es cierto. <risa> sí, ya solo eso. En el otro curso no va a estar usted con nosotros. No, a nosotros nos asignan al azar eh, prácticamente. Ah, okay. Sí, cada, cada, cada módulo es un maestro distinto, maestra o maestro ahí. Uh -huh. Ahí ah, a okay. la suerte. <risa> <risa> pueda o no pueda que estemos. <risa> Ajá, es cierto, es cierto. Ok, está bien entonces. A ver qué tal. Vamos a tener una semana de descanso, ¿verdad? Sí, bien merecida, por cierto. Ay, sí, porque es que este horario está bien difícil. Este, este horario no es, no es de Dios. No, es bien pesado. Sí, es bien pesado. Tenemos a González García. Vamos a ver si me puedo. Este es Don Baltas. Ahí está. Cabal. Él es. Sir. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, sir. Estamos los que estamos, dice Saraí. Entonces. Dale. <laughs> Bueno, comencemos, ¿verdad? Eh, ¿Dónde está la presentación? Aquí está. Vamos a darle para atrás. Aquí vamos. Ok, ahí está. Va, eso lo permite un momento. Lo bueno, que carga esto. Good evening. Good evening, Anna Yancy. <laughs> yeah. All right, so, uh, Ms. Raul, uh, se me salió. Hello. Aquí está, yes, you're over here, sir. Okay, so let's start with the class there, all right? So, uh, the word of this day is on February 18th. 2021 on a Thursday night. Buy the book. Okay. So the phrase is buy the book. What does this mean? It means to operate or to do something according to the rules. In other words, to follow the rules. So if you are the type of person who always, or I would say that usually uh, follow the rules and are very organized, si sigue indicaciones, si hacen las cosas. Como, como tienen que ser, you are someone who 
play by the rules, ¿verdad? Or do a, your uh, responsibilities or your job by, by the book, ¿ok? By the book significa seguir las reglas o al pie de la letra, right? Al pie de la letra. That's, this is the, the, uh, the meaning of by the book. Si usted dice, quiero que lo haga al pie de la letra, you have to do it by the book, ¿verdad? Como si siguiéramos un libro, un manual. You know, just as if you follow a manual, you know, a structure book. Nadie lee los manuales. Bueno, casi nadie. But I, I think Raúl told me last time that he has, you know, this thick manual, right? That you, that you read. <laughs> so you are the exception to the rule, uh, Mr. Melendez. You are the exception to the rule. So I would say that you follow the procedures. Usted sigue los procedimientos. You follow the procedures by the book. Literally, literal. <laughs> I <laughs> literal, literally. Okay. So I have an example. Al pie de la letra significa by the book. At work, I try to do everything by the book. Okay. I want to make sure all the details are correct. Okay. You know, supposedly, so supuestamente, or apparently, that's what, what we should do, right? Tratar de hacer las cosas lo mejor que se pueda. Okay. By the book. Okay, I have here uh, more examples about this idiom. Acuérdense que idiom significa una frase, caliche, un dicho, etc. All right, that's idiom. No nos confundamos be because idiom is not, uh, no es idioma, sino que idioma se dice language. All right, idiom es dicho. Okay, so that being said, by the book, what does that mean? Let me ask uh, someone over here, Mr. Caesar. Would you help me read uh, the image that, that it's on the right, the pink one, la rosada que está on, on your right over there? All the examples, please. Esta parte, this part, which I'm signaling. What? Si me, si me ayuda a leer, por favor, if you can help me read. This. Ah, okay. Uh, by the book, do strictly follow the rules. Yes. Uh, the teacher always goes uh, by the book. She is very strict. The boss uh, does not always. Uh, go by the book. The police told uh, use that they need to go by the book. Thank you. Appreciate it. All right. Now listen up, please. Um, in this case, you can see two meanings, all right, or two usages for the this phrase by the book. Significa seguir las reglas, okay, hacer las cosas bien o hacer las cosas al pie de la letra. All right, so we, we have these three meanings for by the book. The teacher always goes by the book. She is very strict, ¿verdad? Entonces, hacer, hacer las cosas al pie de la letra, ¿verdad? The teacher over there, she's very strict, por eso bien estricta. My boss does not always go by the book, ¿verdad? No siempre sigue las reglas, ¿verdad? That's what we're saying over there, okay? And of course, ¿verdad? The police, told us that they need to go by the, by, by, by the book. Aquí hay un error, ¿verdad? Tenía que decir by the book. Tenía que ser una TH aquí, by the book. There's a mistake over there. Sorry about that. Imagine that the police stop you and then they ask for your papers, let's say your, your uh, license uh, driver and then your uh, tarjeta de circulación, which is for the court, and you don't have that. And they tell you, I'm sorry, but una escala, right? A fine, fine, fine como, como cuando usted dice, how are you? I'm fine. La misma palabra significa esquela, ok? O multa, fine, ok? Si es que no, en México, ¿verdad? A bite, una mordida. <laughs> yeah, you're right. <laughs> ok, so uh, let's continue. By the book. It means to follow the rules, ¿verdad? Al pie de la letra. So I have this example. Cops don't always play by the, by the book, okay? Here we go. 
So yesterday we uh, practice the prepositions of place. And the practice that we did was, let me just go back in here, the difference between at, in, and on. And just to refresh your mind, okay? Vamos a identificar, uh, let's see the differences. So let's identify the differences. And I'm gonna use a check mark in here. Uh, so this one, I would say it's pretty easy, right? This is quite easy. Ocuparon es fácil, okay? And you use it for streets. Aquí aparece para cosas cercanas, verdad, que están en la pared, etcétera, etcétera. But on, you say it on, on the street, for example, okay? Or if it's in the house, on the floor. Si, si, si algo está en el piso, usted dice on the floor. De hecho, hay varias canciones que dicen, verdad, on the floor. <laughs> And... Pero en el caso de las directions, ocupamos on para decir uh, on First Avenue, on la décima, la primera décima, creo que es la calle que está en downtown, o usted dice on, on Main Street, ¿verdad? Eh, so that's basically it, all right? Si algo está colgado en la pared, you say on the wall, all right? Si está en el, in, in the ceiling, I mean, you say on the ceiling over there, sorry. Um, si alguien está en la puerta o llega la policía o una visita no deseada, right? And it's uh, outside your house, okay? By the doorstep, por la puerta. Usted dice, at the door. Si alguien lo está esperando, esperarme fuera de mi casa, voy a estar ahí por la puerta o afuera de tu casa. Usted dice, at the door. Ocupa at, ¿verdad? Ocupa at. Okay, entonces, if you are in, in, in uh, like waiting for a bus, está en la parada de buses, you have to say at the bus stop. Okay, por cierto, este es un review, ¿verdad? Entonces, these are the phrases that we're talking about right now. Okay. Eh, somebody asked me yesterday, alguien me preguntó, ¿por qué decía un ejemplo que ocupamos at para calles o para direcciones? Si usted sabe the address, address es dirección, ¿verdad? De, de donde usted vive, ¿verdad? El polígono, casa, pasaje, todo eso. Si usted sabe, por ejemplo, yo le daba el caso de EPA. EPA que queda en el bulevar del ejército. Creo que todos nos ubicamos donde queda EPA, ¿verdad? Y por, yendo para Soyapán. Ok, pero queda de venida para San Salvador. Entonces, pero como no somos expertos, podríamos decir eh, hacia oriente, you know, to the east, and then... On, on the way back, sorry, on the way back to the west, ¿verdad? Pero eso no nos interesa ahorita, pero sí, por ejemplo, Raúl, you know the exact, let's see, address of EPA, like if you're using Google Maps, okay, or you're using Waze, so in that case, you, you can use at, ¿verdad? EPA, y usted dice, EPA, es en Boulevard del Ejército, eh, kilometer, uh, etcétera, etcétera. And then you just give like like Google Maps, right? Tells you. Okay, that's the only difference. But if you only know that EPA, right, or Plaza Mundo, Soyapango is in Boulevard del Ejército, you know, or you can say at the, uh, you may say at the end of the boulevard. Ahí se está especificando porque es al final del boulevard. Okay, at the end of the boulevard. ¿Verdad? No sé si me explico en ese sentido. If it's in general, si es en general, diga on, all right? But to give a specific point or reference, si dice una referencia, you have to say at, all right? Referencia. Estamos hasta aquí. Are we okay up to this point? Let's see, Cesar, Sarai, Anayansi, and the ones that I have over here. Uh, let's see who, who else is in the house in here. I have Catherine, Mr. Mm -hmm. Hernandez, Rocio, Flor, uh, David also, it's already in the class. All right. So if you don't have any questions, let me give you two more examples. This is just a review, okay? Solo es un repaso. The difference, diferencia entre at and in, si usted va al super, if you go to the supermarket, okay? And hacemos la broma nosotros, que decimos check-in, check-in, 
¿cómo, cómo es que decimos en, en español, verdad? Que lo, a usted lo están, verdad, fiscalizando, le está llamando, you know, your wife is calling you or your husband is calling you to know your location. Si a usted le llaman para averiguar su paradero, si no se ha ido para otro lado, <ríe> si no se ha ido para otro lado y quieren averiguar si en realidad se fue para el súper y no se fue por otro lado, le van a hacer la pregunta, where are you at? Where are you at? They're gonna, they're gonna add, ¿verdad? van a agregar esto, at, at the end of the question. And then you have to answer, I'm at, or I am at the supermarket. I am at the drugstore, okay? Or I'm at, y usted ya dice, at, at, ¿verdad? Donde está específicamente. For example, if I ask you right now, let's see, uh, Miss Pimentel, where are you at right now? Okay. I I am at um in my in my house. In that case, yes, thank you. Yeah, I I uh -huh. yeah, I know you're at your house right now. Yes, I know that you're at your house. Now, what's the difference if you if, if you're just talking about um the locations you still uh dar a conocer su ubicación va a mencionar at, okay? Como como usted está ya dentro de su casa, eh Rocío, usted va a decir, I'm in the house. All right? In the house. Because you are inside, in closed spaces. Esa es la diferencia. Si solo quiere dar su ubicación, va a decir at. All right? Si usted estuviera en el trabajo, va a decir, I'm at work, estoy en el trabajo. Ok? Y ya usted está en una oficina, I'm in the office. All right? And that's the difference over there. Right. Okay, so that would be that that would be the difference over there. Okay, you can say I'm at the hospital, right? So uh, I'm in the uh, operation room, you can say, right? Or I'm in the emergency uh, room. Okay, in there you're specifying. Ahí estamos especificando. Eh, prácticamente, all right? That's all I gotta say about this. Okay. Okay, so let's move on over here, right? All right, so let's continue. If you were not if you if you were not here at eight o'clock, okay, this evening, this is the the idiom, verdad, o el dicho, the one that I talked to you about. This one means hacer las cosas al pie de la letra. Seguir las reglas, ¿verdad? Etcétera, etcétera. ¿Ok? De las cosas con, con detalle. Like, for example, you say, the teacher always goes by the book. She is very strict, ¿verdad? The boss does not always go by the book. Nunca, no, o sea, no sigue las reglas siempre. The police told us that they need to go by the book. All right? And I said that there was a mistake over here because you're supposed to have una TH over here. So... This evening, uh, my friends, we will continue working on the prepositions. And in this case, you're going to use prepositions of place to for this, you know, for, for directions, okay, for this. So you, you will use that prepositions, this one, right? Like turn left, turn right, go past, cross, up the corner, off, next to, opposite, and between. Solo estoy mencionando, pero ya vamos a llegar a esto. My point is that this evening it will be, let's see, most of the class based on prepositions of place to ask and give directions, okay? Para pedir direcciones, okay? So that's how we will be using prepositions this time, okay? Just to give you the point of reference over here so you don't get confused. Le voy a dar el punto de referencia de las imágenes, de la imagen que está acá, okay? Because I think it's important for you to know this. All right? Point of reference. Our point of reference would be the pink color on the, on the first picture. Also here, the pink color, as you can see here, there's an X. La X marca lo que nos estamos refiriendo. And then there's an X over there. And this one, that's our point of reference. Okay. This one, on the table puntero, it's a department store. Okay. So that's a department store. This one over here, it's a bank, ¿verdad? Lo azulito, the blue color, it's a bank. All right? That's a bank. And 
this one, the last one, que se mira como orange color, como que fuera naranjado, color zapote, I would say that. This one, it's, uh, it's a restaurant. So in this case, and of course you have the green area, tenemos la, la parte verde, the green zone. This one, it's a park, okay? So that's a park. So in total, I will explain to you the prepositions of place to give directions based on four places. Le voy a dar los cuatro lugares, ¿verdad? Entonces, con referencia a estos cuatro lugares, vamos a ocupar las preposiciones. We will use the prepositions on the corner of, across from, eh, next to, between, and end, right? This one you know we're already. Aunque esta no es una preposición. Okay, and on, over here. So those are the ones on, on the corner of, across from, next to, and between. So just one clarification. La diferencia entre in front of, que es enfrente de, y across from, es que in front of is, they're very close, like this one, right? Okay, the distance, it's like you can see even there. And across from, you have to cross the street. The translation would be, la traducción de across from is, cruzando la calle, okay? Cru al cruzar la calle, al cruzar la calle o cruzando la calle. Si el hotel continental está frente de metro, decimos nosotros, así decimos en español, pero en inglés tiene que decir, metro centro es across from the Real Inter Intercontinental Hotel. All right? Eh, el obsiso pueblo viejo, ¿verdad? Desgraciadamente. Eh, was, we can say, in, uh, across from um, Despensa de Don Juan. Okay, by Metro Center. Okay. So, uh, but let me explain it to you in here. Okay. The point of reference in here, my friends, is the department store. If we, vamos a... Let me just go full screen over here. All right, so I don't want to. I don't want to confuse you. Okay, so look at this place. That's my point in here. Okay, that department store is. Y aquí el ejemplo creo que no va a dar es next to. Or it's on. Okay, on Main Street. Si usted quiere enfatizar la calle o la avenida en que está, so the street or the avenue, you have to say on. Right. So in this case is. The department store is on Main Street. Okay. Ahora, el emphasis is on the corner. So you can say the department store is on the corner of First Avenue and Main Street. Okay. Now, if you talk about across from, en, uh, al cruzar la calle o cruzando la calle o enfrente, como decimos, the department store is across from the park. Okay. Now, the next one, next to the department store, the, dijimos que este era un banco, right? It's a bank, all right? So the department store is next to the bank. And this one, it's the department store, así como, como una tienda por departamento, right? You know the names here in El Salvador. Permítame, ahí está ya. Okay, department store is the pink color. The one in between is, is a uh, bank. And the one over here on the right is a, uh, is a restaurant. Entonces, el punto de referencia es el banco con referencia al department store y al restaurante, okay? The restaurant over there. So, so you have to say, the restaurant is, I bought it soon enough, right? The restaurant is on Main Street between the department store and, I'm sorry, este era un banco, right? The bank is on Main Street between the department store and the restaurant, okay? Uh, these are the, the most basic uh, prepositions to uh, talk about the location, okay? La ubicación, location about something over there. All right. And let's see if I got it right in here. Let's see if, if this is correct. All right, vamos a ver si lo obtuve bien. Department store is on Main Street. Revisemos, is it okay? Para aquí sí le voy a pedir su, su, su ayuda. You tell me yes or not, right? 
para entrar ya en, en, in the tie over here, right? In the, in the matter. So let me just go a Randall. Vamos a irnos al azar. So this one. Vamos a ponerle un numerito al que vamos haciendo, right? So number one. So what would be, I'm sorry. Sorry about that. Okay. So I would say that's number one, right? Think you usted mire la oración que está ahí. Let's do this one, right? Number one. Okay, let's do number one. What would be the answer over there? Department store and this is a bank. Aquí todos pueden abrir el micrófono, no importa, ¿verdad? And just say the answer over there. I can ask you where is the, uh, the department store, all right? Donde queda Simán, okay? Donde queda tal cosa, right? Donde queda el shopping center, right? Etc. Oh, so can somebody tell me, please? Si alguien me echa la mano, somebody can help me, please? Like, with the this. Mm -hmm. Yes, the, go ahead. The department store is next to the bank. It's next to the bank, or you can say the bank is next to the department store, right? Because it's it's the same, right? Lo que aprendimos nosotros en matemática, ¿verdad? Se supone. De los factores, no altera el producto. No altera el producto, exactamente. Thank you, sir. So what about this one? You know, department store, the bank, and the restaurant. So the point of reference will be the department store and the park. All right? Anybody else, please, that can help me on this one, please? All right? Somebody else? Uh, yes, thank you. Go ahead. The, the department store uh, is across from the park. Thank you. Yes, we have to be careful to use across from, from, right? From. And the translation from. would be al cruzar la calle o cruzando la calle, right? O enfrente de, you say, right? But in this case, you're talking about physical buildings, right? Buildings in here. Okay. Thank you. Uh, we will go with with the last one over here, okay? Uh, between, remember, pink color, department store, uh, this one, it's a bank, and the other one on the left, it's a restaurant, okay? It's a restaurant. So can I have, please, somebody else help over here? Si alguien me ayuda, por favor. Solo abre el micrófono si gusta, and then we take it from there. Eh, Flor le está levantando la mano. Yes, lo que pasa es que me está fallando el inter, perdón. Miraba pantalla negra. <laughs> perdón. Y... <Así> está... <laughs> Flor, go ahead. Please. Thank you, eh, Raúl. Eh, the band, the band between uh -huh. the uh, upper store and the restaurant. Yes, in that case, we have to say yes, it's in between, right? El verbo to be, right? Está en medio de. It's like in Spanish, the uh, floor and everyone. Uh, tal cosa okay. está en medio de, and then you mention the other one. In the okay? Okay. okay. That's where we go. All right. And the last one that we started uh, was this one, right? This one. All right. Uh, uh, okay. I'm sorry. We haven't done this on the corner of. I like this one. Okay. Queda en la esquina de. That's what we say, right? Okay, so somebody else, please, who can help me? Very quick. Lo hice ya, lo estoy bien. Okay, I can see you right now. Somebody else? All right, so in that case, I'll have to choose. All right, so I will have to choose. Uh, I don't know, maybe Cesar, could you help us, sir? Cesar, if you could help us, si nos podría ayudar, por favor, with this one. Okay. okay. On the corner yes. of. Okay, a uh, department store uh, on the corner of First Avenue. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, uh, so yeah, the department uh, store on the corner of of a park. Oh, no sé. Okay, don't worry about it. Okay, no se preocupe. Listen to me, please. Listen to me. Right. Okay. okay, yes, listen to me. Vamos a ver. You can say, so I can ask you, so uh, Cesar, where is the department store? 
usted me lo puede decir de varias formas, ok, no necesariamente lo que dice on the corner of, pero este, lo que usted me está dando es referencia o puntos de referencia para que yo lo encuentre o pueda llegar ahí, ok, so that's what we're doing over here, so you can say what's, where's the department store and then you can tell me it's, se salta el nombre, verdad, because you know that we're talking about the department store, right, por eso es que es un pronombre, porque ya mencionamos el nombre propio, you know, the proper name, which is department. So, it's on the corner of, dice usted, la calle o la avenida, and you have to mention both, all right? You have to mention both. Tiene que mencionar ambas, ¿verdad? Porque queda en la esquina de la, de la decima, primera y décima, and, uh, you know this already, right? Okay, so that's what I'm talking about over there. So, Caesar, it's on the corner of, you see, Main Street and First Avenue. Pero aquí aplicamos eh, la cuestión matemática, ¿verdad? It's on the corner of the First Avenue and Main Street. Independientemente si usted habla primero of the avenue or you, you choose the, the street, it doesn't really matter. Pero tiene que decir, está en la esquina de tal calle y tal avenida. All right? So you have to be careful with that. Okay, thank you. And, okay, teacher. Yes, sir. Eh, en ese caso, bueno, según le comprendo, eh, omitiría de lo que estamos hablando, que en ese caso sería como el, el department store, y, y solo diría hits, o, o empezaría de donde queda, digamos, ya. It's on the corner. Uh -huh. That's a good question. Thank you. Thank you. You have three options. Okay, you tell me everything by the book. Utilicemos la frase que le di ahorita, ¿verdad? Sigue las reglas al pie de la letra. Y me dice, the department store is on the corner of Main Street and First, uh, First Avenue. O solo me dice, it's on the corner of Main and First. O me dice, on the corner of Main and First. O sea, you, you come from the, the complete response or answer to a more, uh, let's see, to a formal or casual to a very informal response. Viene de lo, de lo formal, completo, casual, y luego termina con lo informal. Like if I ask you, if I ask you, esta pregunta no es de mi incumbencia, Cesar, but I'm gonna ask, all right? Are you married? Está casado. Usted me puede decir yes, o me dice no, o me dice no comments. ¿Verdad? Y si me dijera que sí, me decir, yes, I am married, y ella me dice, ¿verdad? I'm a happy husband, right? I'm out the father of eh, una marimbita, ¿verdad? Me puede decir. <laughs> Ni quiera Dios, ¿verdad? <laughs> okay, but you see my point here, eh, Mr. Caesar. Estamos en sintonía. So, yes, we're good? Sí, yes. Nice. Okay, so that, that's a good point, what you asked me, whether. All right? Okay. But please do not get frustrated, ¿verdad? No nos desanimemos ni nos frustremos porque esto solamente es como el Titanic, ¿verdad? No es que nos vamos a hundir, ¿verdad? But it's just the tip of the iceberg, right? It's just the tip of the iceberg. <laughs> el Titanic no llegó, ¿verdad? But we're going to get there. We're just two days apart. Solo estamos a los días de, de coronar the first module, right? Of 2021. Okay. Nice. No more questions. Uh, no questions over here? Okay, thank you. So let's continue here. Uh, vamos a apoyarles mandando esto immediately. Let me send it to you, all right? And as I'm doing this, take a look at this screen. Take a look at, the, at this slide, please. Fijámonos en esta diapositiva en lo que les mando la imagen de, de, la, de la regla esta. Because you're going to use uh, those prepositions, okay, for this. All right. You're going to use those prepositions for this. Okay. All right. Permita. 
me parecía que no tenía conexión en la computadora, pero es bien raro. All right. So, uh, let me send the rule to you. Hagamos algo, ¿verdad? Como al parecer tengo aquí problemas de conexión, no sé. Let me just go back to this slide and then take a, take a photograph and send it to the chat, please. Si me ayudan con eso para que compartamos las prepositions. Somebody or other, pues. Tomamos un screenshot or you take a picture in there, please. Hold on, let me minimize this, all right? So we don't appear. Thank you, sir. All right, let me know when you sent it in there. Uh, that's okay, all right? So that's okay. Okay. G7, perdón, es la G7C, uh, sí, ¿verdad? Es el grupo, G7C. Ok. G7C. All right. Somebody text me here. Pero si gusta, mándelo al grupo, por favor. Ok. Ya le envié. All right. So you sent it already over there. You know, it's weird because WhatsApp is telling me that I don't have a connection, but I do have a connection with you. And, and WhatsApp is not working for me. Entonces, lo que les comparto esta noche, se lo voy a estar mandando por Zoom. Okay? All right. And then you just can share it with, with the rest of us over there. All right. Thank you. Eh, eso no va a quedar. Eh, sí, no, no, no le he recibido. Ya, imagino que lo vamos a recibir. Okay, so let's continue with this. The first thing you will, you will be working on this evening is the following, right? It's the following. Let me just minimize this. Uh, okay, and here we go. Eh, voy a, a hacerle zoom a la pantalla. Okay. Para que algo, alguien me ayude. Permítame. A sacarle captura de pantalla. You can get a screenshot. Sorry about that. All right. And there you go. If somebody can help us please with a screenshot right now, it would be really appreciated. All right. Ahí está ya. Ya me conectó este lado. Okay. Thank you so much, Claudia. And thank you so much, Mr. Baltazar. All right. Okay. All right. So get a screenshot over here, please. And I'm sorry about this, all right? Ya me va a cargar el WhatsApp. Si, me puede, si pueden sacar una captura de todo esto, por favor. Uh, and I will send it to, to you too, all right? Okay. All right, thank you, uh, Rocio. Yeah, I think it's good, right? Yeah, it's good quality. So that's what we have. That's good quality. All right, so let's continue then, okay? Um, okay. All right, so your job, my friends, will be to give directions about this, but don't worry, all right? Don't worry because the, the first, you're gonna give directions, all right, based on these statements over here, okay? So you're not gonna give directions based on your own understanding or your, or your own point of reference, ¿verdad? No nos preocupemos. Vamos a dar referencias de acuerdo a las oraciones, ¿verdad? Que están acá. So based on this, all right? So, uh, but first of all, let me just, uh, let's see, present to you, to you or introduce the places that we have in this map, right? Or in this city, we have gases, gas station, right? We have hospital, doctor's hospital. And we have uh, the doctor's hospital, US post, post, post office. Uh, we have bookstore, it's a bookstore. Now be careful, uh, I know, I think you know this already, okay? A bookstore in the library, right? Bookstore, is eh, donde va a comprar libros, librería, 
And then the library is biblioteca, right? Library is biblioteca, okay? Bookstore, libreria, right? But in English, library and libreria are like very similar. So don't get confused, right? Porque library is biblioteca and bookstore is a, donde usted va a comprar los libros, okay? Libreria. So Second Avenue Bookstore, that's the name, right? It's Second Avenue, right? Bookstore. A drugstore, you can say drugstore or pharmacy, right? Pharmacy, PH, right? PH, pharmacy. That's how you say it, whatever. Uh, shoe store, you say shoe store, all right? Shoe store. Y está unida la palabra, ¿verdad? Shoe store. And this one is favorite shoes. And the one we have in here, it's a coffee shop, all right? It's a coffee shop. Okay, hold on. I need to have this in, in the same screen. The name of the movie theater is Re Regency Movie Theater. You can say cinema, movie theater, and you can say movies. Pero el nombre correcto es movie theater, all right? You can say cinema, that's okay. Pero movies es como que let's go to the movies, okay? Let's go to the cinema, let's go to the movie theater, all right? Okay, and then we have the Citibank, okay? Citibank, Citibank. You know, in the, in the United States, you may listen to this like bank, bank, and things like that. So it depends if you are in Texas, in Minnesota, in New York, et cetera, et cetera, right? People will say bank or bank. Right? So whatever way you say it will be okay. All right? Depending on the accent. You say Citibank. Okay, Citibank or Citibank. And then this one, it's a restaurant, a restaurant. And then let's continue with this. Um, this is a park, all right? It's a fountain, 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 una fuente, right? It's a fountain. Or it's just a plaza, right? A plaza, park, or fountain. But right now, due to the, the resource I'm using, debido al recurso que estoy utilizando, al material, this one, it's a park, all right? It's a park, it's a park, okay. And then this one, eh, parqueo, like we said in Spanish, is parking lot, parking lot, okay? It's a parking lot. And that's basically it, right? Any questions about, I don't know, places? Ah, and we have the supermarket over here. Do you have any questions? Okay. Do you have any questions for me right now? No? Okay. If you don't have any questions, let me send you the first time to the breaker room. And in groups of three, you will be uh, filling in the blanks, this one, right? Like giving directions based on like the coffee shop, the movie theater, gas station, post office, and the bank, right? And then you have to use, you have to use the prepositions, this one, okay? On, on the corner of, across from, next to, and between, all right? So use the image to fill in the blanks over there. All right, so does it sound like a plan? Okay, so let's go ahead, please, and do this. Okay. Let me stop sharing the screen. And um, well, let's do this, all right? All right, rooms are open. Go ahead, please enjoy the rooms. Thank you. Teacher, lo siento, recibí una llamada del trabajo. 
Vaya, no se preocupe, vamos a hacer una, una, la primera práctica en el grupo de una imagen que está en WhatsApp ya. Y le voy a mandar lo demás. Ah. Esta vez sí puedo conectar. Ok, mandar. Ok, gracias. Bye. Eso, Catherine, nos tenemos que unir a un grupo compartido, ¿verdad? Si no, ya lo voy a, ya lo voy a, a unir, ¿ok? Ahí yo tengo la imagen de dónde están. Eh, ahí tal vez nos ayudamos las dos. Ajá. El coffee. Vaya, hagamos la primera porque ahí dice, ahí nos podemos ah. ir ubicando. Coffee shop. Está en la segunda avenida. En la imagen no la tengo. Aquí está. Vaya, el coffee shop está 
dice que de donde está de la avenue está en la una en la segunda vez podría decirse between us between the o también on the corner on second avenue and main street uh -huh. O podríamos decir también, eh, the movie theater is across from the, ¿qué dice ahí? Eh, Maria's restaurant. Across from, uh -huh. Maria's restaurant, Maria dice, ¿verdad? Maria's restaurant, sí. Aquí se ve. El otro sería The gas station is Gas station is The gas station is Eh, across from, from the, uh, across the parking lot it's uh, según la oración dice que está across from the, the uh, parking lot uh, on the center street or oh, on the corner um, first avenue and, and center street mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Cuatro, cuatro, cuatro formas. O oh, on Main Street, across from the parking lot. And the post, the, the post office. La otra, oh. the post office is next oh. to the doctor hospital. O oh, on the corner. Oh, on subí porque no veo la imagen. No, es que no, no hay. Esta, esta sí la compartieron. No, no está todo, no está toda la imagen. No, but it, it's on WhatsApp, uh, Bal Mr. Baltazar. So you have to uh, fill in the blanks based on the image that it's on WhatsApp, the first one. Yeah, uh, yeah. So, uh, so this one, sir. All right, let's use this one then. All right. Ah, okay. Acá está. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and this is this is much this is much is also on WhatsApp. Okay, I just sent it to you a couple of minutes ago. All right. Oh, okay. Eh, Proyectal, entonces, si ya está en WhatsApp. Web. It's on WhatsApp. Yes, eh, it's on WhatsApp it's... already. Please. No la miran. No. Oh, yeah. yeah. No, let yeah. me let me stop sharing mine. Okay, go ahead, please. Now. No. Oh yeah, yeah. This one is the. It the... was mine. Okay, so now go ahead, please, Mr. Balta. I'm not No, I'm not seeing anything. But yeah, I I cannot see anything yet. Okay. No, no, no. No, no, no. No, no, no. No, I cannot see anything over there, right? I don't know. Maybe Eduardo, are you in your cell phone right now or your computer? You're yeah. not able to share it. I mean, can you share it? Computer, but you don't have WhatsApp or what? <laughs> no, I, actually, I'm in two computers, but I'm just working. Let me. Oh, okay. This is, yeah. Let me share. Pero mandaron una con las dos juntas, no. Yeah, that's ah, the yes. one I sent. The one that, that said yeah. Alfaro. Yeah, that one. That's the one, sir. Okay. So, uh, the coffee the shop coffee is the on shop. the second avenue. What is the coffee shop? 
Oh yeah. Down. Uh -huh. Coffee shop. It's King. <laughs> Entonces sería across from in the siguiente esquina, creo. Yes, can you look mm -hmm. at my screen, please? Hello. Can you look at my screen, please? Hola, Lee. Hola, teacher. ¿Qué tal? Muy bien. Entonces yo aquí este, este ejercicio aquí. nos tiene bien ocupado, ¿verdad? Bien, bien. Despierto. Sí. Hoy <risa> sí. Si fuera ahora el examen final, me. ¡Au! <risa> Me sacan. ¿Dónde está el hospital? El hospital está en la segunda cuadra. En la segunda cuadra, enfrente de la gas station. Vaya. Me puede, me puede ayudar con la segunda, teacher. Dice que, ay, así deberíamos de tenerlo en el celular. Ajá. La imagen con la pregunta. Cabo. Vaya, dice, Timobi teacher. Perdón, la, la última imagen que les mandé en WhatsApp, ahí está ya. Esto. Ah, ah. Eh, lo hemos estado viendo por pedacitos. No, ahí está en WhatsApp. Lo que pasa es que me está dando problemas y me tardé en enviarlo, pero lo mandé. Creo que WhatsApp tiene problemas. Ah, ok, ok. Is a corner from the parking lot. Ajá. Pero, ¿verdad? Sí. It's, it's, um, across from, across from the hospital. Porque está en la otra esquina también. El movie theater. Está diciendo el cine, me está diciendo. Número dos, me dijo. No. Ajá. Ah. El cine eh, está. Vaya. Eh, the movie teacher is across from the parking lot. Porque Ajá. para mí el parqueo es donde están todos los carritos. Ok, pero me está diciendo usted la número dos, la oración dos. La dos, sí. Vaya, pero el hospital está bien allá. Este, estamos hablando de, del cine que es el movie theater uh -huh. y luego le aparece Spartan. entonces tendría que mencionar la, la calle eh, no, en este caso solo, yeah, en este caso solamente le dice the movie theater is on uh, aquí sería en la esquina de, porque dice eh, park, no, perdón, perdón, perdón park en main uh, ajá, park se refiere al parque, perdón a, a la calle y main se refiere a la calle ah. también, a la calle main, a la calle principal y a la calle que se llama parque, ¿verdad? Entonces, es, the movie theater is on park en Main Street, ¿ok? Uh -huh. It's, the it is, it's across from the park. That's it. Y movie, eh, en la primera, que sería? Después del is. On. Está en. On. Ajá. En la calle, tal. Sí, pero en este caso, para ser completo, sería es on the corner of Park Street and Main Street. Ajá, uh -huh. en la segunda estaba mal, uh -huh. porque era Main Street. Uh -huh. Ok. okay vamos sí, a... Gracias. Vamos, de hecho, a... Es... vamos a regresar, ¿verdad? Para darles una mejor eh, retroalimentación. Okay. Sí, porque esto está, esto está okay. difícil. Sí, sí, la verdad que sí. All right. All right, so welcome back, everyone. Uh, let's do this. Okay. You know, I think it was not my computer, the one that was uh, having some problems. I think it was WhatsApp because it was telling me your computer uh, is not connected to the internet, but I was connected to the internet in Zoom. So, and that's why, take a look at your cell phone. The last image that I shared with you, it's, it's this one, the one that I'm sharing on the screen over here. La misma imagen que está aquí en PowerPoint es la misma que está en WhatsApp ahorita, okay? 
eh, pueden poner quizás su teléfono así tipo panorama o look at my screen over here. Now, be careful in here because uh, in this uh, sentence on number two, han omitido, so they have not included the uh, street, ¿verdad? Le hace falta ahí, street, ¿verdad? Park street and main street on number two. Okay. But on number one, it is the coffee shop is on Second Avenue. It's, se refiere, eh? it's, it's talking about the coffee shop, right? It's, and then we have to see the, uh, the coffee shop is over here and then the uh, shoe store, it's in here. So it would be, si alguien me dice, it's on, I'm sorry, it's, it's next to correct it's next to the next to the shoe store next to the shoes shoe store thank you all right so now the movie theater primero identifiquemos so locate locate the the place over there. so movie theaters this is the one and now are we uh, am i talking about the park you know like this physical area or am i talking about park street i think it's park street and main street all right So in this case is the movie theater is, and then I have this specific place, all right? Like como en fútbol, ¿verdad? Un corner, ¿verdad? Un tiro de esquina. Okay, I think that's the answer over there. So it would be uh, the movie theater is on the corner or of Park and Main Street. Se han saltado street porque las dos son calles, okay? And then you say it's, all right? In this case, so what's the reference? The reference is this one, all right? That's the reference. So you can say, está al cruzar la calle. So you have to say, it's across the park. And then, so number one, number two. You may have some other options, all right? But I think these are, these are the, the best ones. So the gas station, okay? So this is our place right now. So this is the gas station, all right? And then it says the parking lot, all right? Este es el parqueo, right? So in this case, this is our point of reference. First thing you have to do is, okay, locate the street. In this case, it's center or center street. And then we have the parking lot and over here, this is the hospital. Pero como estamos siguiendo el ejemplo de acá, we have to say the gas station is, and then you have to say, let me ask uh, somebody else, Claudia. Tal vez nos ayuda, so. You have to cross the street, right? So it would be the gas station is. No. Está. No, no, no. Across from. Correct, correct. It's across from, from the parking lot. The parking. Yes, yes, right, everyone. Right? Okay, thank you. Okay, so, and then we have. It's, it's, it says, I'm sorry, and it says number three, it's first and center. All right. And then you say it's on the corner because it's on the corner, you see? Hasta un triángulo está acá, right? Right. It's on the corner of First Avenue and Center Street. Okay. Or it's on the corner of First and Center Street. Just like that. Okay. Number four. It's the post office, post. This is our place, right? This is the post office. And the post office is center and second, right? It says center and second. Of course, this is just a coincidence, right? So una casualidad. It's, if I'm not mistaken, it's on the corner, right? On the corner of center and center street and second avenue, all right? Or you can say it's on the corner of second avenue and center street. So it's up to you. Okay. And number four, right? It's, right? Okay, it's in the hospital over here, right? We say here, there's an error in here, right? There is only an alley, mm -hmm. ¿verdad? Un callejón que lo divide, right? It's an alley. A-L-L-E-Y. Alley, right? Alley. Callejón. Como el que salía en Spider-Man, right? Alley. Okay. So it's... I would say this one is very simple, right? It's this one, right? Right? Next to. It's next to the hospital. Next to the hospital. I would say that. Is there any option for this one? Okay. With those two, right? We're good. All right? With those two, we're good. 
Number five, number five. This one is a little bit more complicated. Where is the bank at? Where is the bank at? Let's see. Oh, it's over here, right? All right. So this is the bank. Okay, this is the bank. Uh, the bank is, it says the restaurant and the department store. Okay. Since they, they uh, show me two places I have to use, be two in, right? Because this is a restaurant. No se mira, pero es Maria's restaurant. And we have to say, okay, in reference to the department store, so the bank is between uh, the restaurant and the department store or is between the, the store and the restaurant, just like that. It's, y aquí solo decimos la calle, it's on Main Street. Una aclaración, all right? Just one, one clarification. La práctica que vamos a estar haciendo de la, los mayores detalles posibles, okay? You can mention, you have to mention, ¿verdad? Tiene que hacerlo. You have to mention the name of the street or name of the avenue, if it's on the corner, if it's across, if it's in between, if it's next to. Si se puede utilizar, digamos, en este caso. Eh, so the, the city bank is across from the movie theater on Main Street. And you can also say the city bank is uh, in between, between the restaurant and the department store. Go ahead and do it, please. Entre más puntos de referencia de, es mejor. All right? So that's something that I'm asking you right now. Okay? Any questions? So far? No questions over here? Okay. No. Thank you, sir. So we will continue then. All right. So let me just one second. I'm muting uh, the microphones in here. Thank you. We're going to leave part B for later, right? This one, we will come back to this. All right? But in the meantime... Let me help you with this. It, it, the conversation is, is it far from here? All right? Is it far from here? Okay. Now, if you are, a, let's see, a fast reader, si lee rápido, maybe you uh, were able to read the place this gentleman is looking for, ¿verdad? Tal vez se dio cuenta el lugar que anda buscando este señor in the conversation order. So, but before I play the listening, I'm going to ask you, what's the place he is looking for? ¿Cuál es el lugar que él está buscando? So that's a question that you have to answer. So is he looking for, uh, let's see, a, voy a decir cosas de aquí en el Salvador. Is he looking for Salvador del Mundo? Uh, looking for something else, right? Downtown, something like that. So you, the question for you is, what is the uh, tourist looking for, right? ¿Qué está buscando el turista, right? In that conversation. Significa que I will not share the screen with you. No le puedo compartir la pantalla, but only the audio, okay? Only the audio to you. So um, let me just one second, please. Here we go. All right. Just one moment, please. So if I were you, I would take notes grab a notebook or use your, uh, I don't know, your cell phone to take no notes over here, please. So allow me just one second, please. All right, it's... Uh... All right, here we go. Page 89. I'm sorry about that. All right, I'm sharing with you only the audio. Go ahead, please. And page 89, exercise eight, conversation. Is it far from here? Listen and practice. Excuse me, ma'am. Can you help me? How do I get to St. Patrick's Cathedral? Just walk up 5th Avenue to 50th Street. St. Patrick's is on the right. Is it near Rockefeller Center? Yes, it's right across from Rockefeller Center. Thank you. And where is the Empire State Building? Is it far from here? It's right behind you. Just turn around and look up.
All right. That was quick, by the way, all right? That was very quick. So let me ask you, do you have any idea where the tourist is from? De donde es él, most likely, based on the accent that he has. Do you have any idea, maybe any guess, verdad? Alguna idea? Where he is from? Because he's a tourist and he's looking for two places. Está buscando dos lugares, este señor, all right? So he's looking for two places, but can you guess based on the accent, where is he from? Let me play it again, please. Second, no le hice esa pregunta, right? But I think it's important for you to actually understand the types of accents, okay, para los acentos. So I'm going to play it again. Here we go. Page 89, exercise 8, conversation. Is it far from here? Listen and practice. Excuse me, ma'am. Can you help me? How do I get to St. Patrick's Cathedral? Just walk up 5th Avenue to 50th Street. St. Patrick's is on the right. Is it near Rockefeller Center? Yes, it's right across from Rockefeller Center. Thank you. And where is the Empire State Building? Is it far from here? It's right behind you. Just turn around and look up. All right, so any idea where the gentleman is from, by the way? For example, United Kingdom. the United Kingdom, that's correct, yes. It must be from the United Kingdom, from Australia, or from all, all of these places where they speak just like this. Why? Because they say Rockefeller Center, and he doesn't say center. The lady says center, but, but he says center. And he goes like far away, far, far. And that's a British accent, okay? It's un acento británico. All right, now um, uh, let me share the screen again over here. Uh, and then we take it from there. Here we go. All right, I'm minimizing this screen. Okay, antes que le comparta la pantalla de la conversación, we gotta come back, we gotta go back to this conversation. Don't get confused, please. This is not a conversation that you listen to, but this is the conversation of the father that has his son, you know, in an emergency, right? But uh, my point is the following, right? Let's see if uh, they, you know, if they introduced yesterday the uh, preposition. Si se fijan, y creo que ustedes son bien observadores en este sentido, that conversations introduce that grammar, okay? Siempre es así en esta clase. Presento la conversación que introduce la gramática. In this case, Vamos a hacer una práctica explícita, right? So an explicit practice. You see, it's on the corner, this one, right? On Main Street, okay? And then you can tell me across from, et cetera, et cetera, right? So those are the prepositions, right? Now, the one I have is this one, okay? Now, let me play the uh, audio again. Listen up. And uh, la, the task I'm giving you is underline or just uh, try to uh, pay attention to the link sounds, okay? Las uniones de sonido, por favor. Hagamos los link sounds, okay? And let's see how it goes. Here we go. Page 89, exercise 8, conversation. Is it far from here? Listen and practice. Excuse me, ma'am. Can you help me? How do I get to St. Patrick's Cathedral? Just walk up 5th Avenue to 50th Street. St. Patrick's is on the right. Is it near Rockefeller Center? Yes, it's right across from Rockefeller Center. Thank you. And where is the Empire State Building? Is it far from here? It's right behind you. Just turn around and look up. All right, so as, as you can see, uh, this gentleman, he doesn't say here, you know, here. He said here, here, here. That's why he's from Great Britain, okay? Um, or from the United Kingdom. So excuse me, ma'am. Ma'am, right? Ma'am, ma'am. Go una M, right? You say, ah, you are a man, right? You are a man, right? Hombre, hombres. But this case is ma'am, verdad? Señora, right? Señora. Okay. Excuse me, ma'am. Can you help me? 
how do I get to St. Patrick Cathedral? Como cuando dice thinking, right? Thinking, cathedral. Okay, cathedral. Uh, just walk at Fifth, Fifth, right? Fifth, Fifth Avenue. Creo que ya se, ya se dieron cuenta que eh, for directions, you have to use uh, ordinal numbers, right? Like first, second, third, fourth. And this one you say Fifth, Fifth Avenue and 50th, 50th Street. St. Patrick's is on the right. Is it near Rockefeller Center? Yes, it's right across from Rockefeller Center. Thank you. And where is the Empire State Building? Is it far from here? It's right behind you. Just turn around and look up. Okay? Uh, you say, can you help me? How do I get to it? this question? How do I get to? Significa como llego a. Okay, como hago para llegar a un lugar. For example, if I ask you, uh, I'm going to ask, let's see, Jacqueline, if you're listening to me, please. If I ask you, or maybe somebody else in here, like Anayansi, how do you get to your work or how do you get to work? I'm, I'm asking like the transportation, if you take a, if you take a bus, if you go on Uber, or if you drive, et cetera, et cetera. So the transportation that you use, how do you get to? Como llego a? And that's why you're saying over there. You can go on foot, verdad? On foot, a pie, verdad? On foot, all right? On foot. Pata. A pata, <laughs> exactly. And, and so how do I get to, all right? Just walk up. Camine hacia adelante, right? O hacia arriba. So walk up Fifth Avenue to 50th Avenue. St. Patrick's, St. Patrick's is on the right. It's on the right. Okay. Walk up. Walk up. All right. Is it, is it near? Recuérdese que la T casi nunca se pronuncia o se disminuye la pronunciación, ¿verdad? La fuerza de voz. So is it near Rockefeller Center? Yes, it's it's right across, right across, right a, right a, right a, ok. En ese sentido ocupamos la T como una R y decimos right across. It's right across from Rockefeller Center. Thank you. And where is, where is the, where is the, the Empire? Empire State Building. Is it, is it far from here? It's right behind you or it's right behind you. Just turn around. Como una canción, ¿verdad? Turn around. Da, da, da. Okay, that one, right? So, turn around and look up. Look up. All right? Do you have any questions for me right now? No questions? All right. So, um, before we move any further in here, let me send to you to the WhatsApp, you know, I'm gonna send this conversation to the WhatsApp right now before anything else happens, all right? Before so something else over there. So one moment, please. All right, take notes of the vocabulary, take notes of uh, new uh, words, uh, let's see something that calls your attention out of the conversations. I think that's a good practice that you can do in every class over there. So I'm sending the, uh, this conversation to the, to the WhatsApp. Let's see if it actually works this time. All right. Let's see if it actually works in here. It's still pending, it says. All right. Yeah, that's weird. Okay. So let's continue with the class. There's something else uh, for you uh, this evening. Ahí está. Hasta ahorita les cayó. Okay. Um, just one second, please. Here we go. Okay. Now, take a look at my screen, please. Um, now, look at this. More on directions in here. Okay. More on directions. Si ustedes se fijan... La gramática la sacan, you know, the explanation of the grammar is, you know, grabbed or, you know, taken from the conversation in there. Okay. So you see the same examples 
as the conversations being explained in this grammar explanation. So los mismas oraciones de la conversación. So if I ask you, how do I get to Rockefeller Center? You have many options, walk up or go up Fifth Avenue. But you can also say, you can also say, go straight. Voy a cambiar de pantalla. So en lugar de decir walk up or go up, you can, you can also say, uh, let's see, where do I have it? Okay, so this one, all right? This phrase. So instead of saying, en lugar de decir go up, or, or, or walk up, you can say go straight, all right? Go straight, ¿verdad? Siga adelante, o como decimos nosotros, eh, continúe recto. <laughs> That's what we say, right? In Mexico, they say derecho, right? In Mexico, they say, siga derecho, right? But in El Salvador, we say recto, right? So that's what we say, my other. So go straight. It's the same as saying, ya voy a regresar a esa pantalla, I'll come back, you know, to this uh, screen, you say, Walk up or go up, it's go, go straight. Turn left on, all right? Or, or turn right on, okay? So you have to say on, ¿verdad? Gira la derecha, gira la izquierda, right? You say on, on 49th Street, it's on the right, okay? Está a la derecha, it's on the right, it's on the left, está a la izquierda, right? So walk up, siga adelante, you know, walk down, ¿verdad? En, en bajada, right? So you, you go down, go down, you can say, all right? If you say go straight, it doesn't really matter, you know, if it's, uh, if it goes down or if, if, you, if you go up, you just go straight, ¿verdad? No se desvíe, ¿verdad? Sigue recto, go, go, go straight, you say that one, okay? For example, how do you say redondel? And then I explained this to somebody yesterday. And then how you say is roundabout. You say a roundabout, right? Roundabout, you say redondel, right? Or a traffic circle, a traffic circle. For example, we will say my job is by the Constitution Monument, AKA La Chulona, right? Or it's near Constitu Constitution Roundabout, Redondel Constitución. Si da solamente un punto de referencia, usted dice queda por, or it's near, near this, near that, right? Okay, or you say it's by. Si no quiere, si solo da un punto de referencia, you say by, queda por, my job is, or my work is, by, queda por, fuentes, etc., etc., right? O ex embajada americana, we say that, right? Etc., etc., okay? And AKA significa also known as, o el alias, ¿verdad? El alias, AKA, you know, also, también conocido como, also known as, AKA, ¿verdad? Um, let's see, all right? So the question is, how do I get to, or how can I get to? You have two options, ¿cómo llego a? O ¿cómo puedo llegar a? All right, so how can I get to? You are está en Metro Centro and then you want to get to Hospital Bloom, right? I think everybody knows the reference over there. You are uh, at Metro Centro right now and then you want to get to uh, Hospital Bloom. So, and then you, you ask, how do I get to Hospital Nacional Benjamin Bloom, right? And then people will tell you, go straight, okay, on uh, Boulevard de los Cerves. And you can say it's at the end of the... Uh, the uh let's see the boulevard before the traffic light until the, the of the second traffic light you can say and usted la referencia que usted quiere right but you have to be careful you have to be careful si dice siga derecho go go straight if you, if you say gira a la izquierda turn you know turn left or or turn or turn right in there si solamente quiere dar una referencia va a decir queda por it's by ¿Verdad? Al, el árbol de la paz. You can say that, right? Okay, but it's uh, by, uh, what can I say here, right? And be frío, people know this, this place over there, right? Et cetera, et cetera. Any questions for me right now? Any questions for me right now? Do you have any questions for me? All right. 
Thank you. So let's continue over here. Write down this vocabulary, please. Write down this vocabulary. This is just a reinforcement. So the next screen is just telling you with images. So take a look, please, just for a second. All right, so take a look. So giving directions. So turn left, turn right, go past. Okay, de repente le dice, okay, es después del super, ¿verdad? Go past, ¿verdad? Pase el super, you know, go past the supermarket, go past eh, Constitución, go past uh, Universidad de Salvador, go past, etc. All right. Okay. Eh, cross, of course, everybody knows, like, you cross the street, okay, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Up the corner of or on the corner of, ¿verdad? Por eso les decía, si están especificando bastante, you say up the corner of, ¿verdad? Which is over here, or on the corner. Uh, para no entrar en dilema, you can say on and not, all right? But here, you're, you're being very specific. Next to, opposite, all right? Ahora ya sabemos otra forma de decir uh, el otro lado de la calle, ¿verdad? O, o cruzando la calle. Usted dice en esquina opuesta, right? You say opposite, right? It's opposite and you say the name of it, right? Continental Hotel is opposite Metro Centro on, on the Boulevard de los Héroes, all right? That's how you say it. And then, of course, between them over there, all right? And, and that's how you say it in there. Okay, next screen is basically the same. It's basically the same, but in this case, you say it's go straight, turn right, turn left. Y para decir, okay, agarre o, o láncese o, o salga en, en el giro en U, you say take, take, como de tomar, take the U-turn, ¿verdad? El giro en U. Take the U-turn, ¿verdad? Eso causa muchos accidentes, por cierto. Right, many car accidents, you know, the u term in there. Go past, pase, ¿verdad? This place, you see, that's why you have the house as a reference in there. Cross, across from, just like opposite, next to, on or up the corner, ¿verdad? Por eso les decía, you can say on the corner or up the corner, all right? So don't get picky. Take the first right, tome la primera de la derecha, or, te, or take the second right, or the, oh, up the roundabout, ¿verdad? En el redondel. At the roundabout, take the first exit, ¿verdad? Yo me ubico por donde vivo, eh, redondel Torobos, right? The roundabout Torobos. And then you can say, if you, if you want to go to uh, Comercial San Luis, you know, you just go on San Antonio, San Antonio Bar, right? It's past the traffic, uh, the traffic light. Um, I can say across from uh, McDonald's. I can say that. And I think you, you get the point in there. All right? Okay. El punto es que usted tiene que decir por lo menos una preposición, across from, opposite, or it's on this street, or by, etc. So people understand where, where the place is. No solo nos, nos conformemos con una preposición o un punto de referencia. All right? So is that, uh, is that clear, everyone? Más o menos. All right, so thank you. Now, practice time, right? So it's practice time. So we, we will practice right now. So look at this image, which I have over here, okay? Let me get a screenshot of this and I'll be sending to you uh, this right away as I'm speaking right now. But please take a look at this place. Let's get familiar. So first of all, let's, let's uh, go ahead and locate the places over here, all right? So let's go, go ahead and locate the, the places that I'm showing you in here, okay? Identifiquemos los lugares que les estoy eh, compartiendo en este momento, okay? Revisando el WhatsApp, en realidad sí está fallando porque sí estoy recibiendo otras notificaciones y el, en WhatsApp al, radio, al parecer a mí no me, está, o sea, no me está funcionando como debe, okay? So it's not working as, as it's supposed to, all right? Si me hace alguien el favor de escribir en el grupo que tenemos nosotros en clase, 
para ver si, si, si funciona, si le funciona. Ok, yes, for you is working over there. Yeah, that's the one. Ok. Ok. And uh, let me just close this one. All right. So we, thank you, uh, Raul. All right, I appreciate this. Okay, so we'll, we will be using the, the image that just Raul sent uh, in the chat in there. Now, take a look at this. We have the supermarket, all right? We have the supermarket and then I cayó la que yo mandé ahorita. Okay, supermarket, we have the theater, stadium, uh, hospital, okay? Firehouse, or you can say, uh, uh, yeah, firehouse is okay. All right, it's the firehouse or fire department. It's up to you. You say it's cool. You see, and let me go full screen over here. Vamos a pantalla grande. All right, supermarket, theater or movie theater. Right, stadium. Okay, like El Magico Gonzalez. Gas station. Right, hotel, post office, bank, park. Right, hospital. Okay, church, no está el nombre de la iglesia, pero dice church, right? School, museum, okay, bus station, right? Como la del Citrans. Police, you say police uh, department, right? Or police station, right? In this case, it's police station, right? And then uh, what else do we have? A cinema, right? You see, we have Maybe the other, the other one is just a theater. In realidad, it's un teatro, right? Like in Los Angeles, where you know, call like theater. Or like in downtown, there's a theater over there, right? And you have a cafe, right? A cafe. A cafe, it's a coffee shop, right? No es café como bebida, but it's a coffee shop, okay? It's a coffee shop. So that's what we have over there. All right, so, and then we have a pharmacy or drugstore, okay? Those are the variations that we have in this image in there. Now, on the next screen that we have in here, and let me just, uh, you know, close this. Uh, here we go. I don't know. So can I have please somebody that can take uh, an image, can take a picture of this screen, please? Uh, let me just one second, please. I'm going to do the same over here. Si alguien me ayuda, haciendo una captura de pantalla, por favor. And then if you can send it to the uh, to the chat right now, please on WhatsApp. All right, thank you, Rocio. Uh, I appreciate your help over there. Thank you, Raul. I also got yours. Maybe, maybe right now WhatsApp is gonna work for me, but we don't know, right? We never know. Okay. All right, so let's continue. So here's the thing. So listen up, please. Um, let me just go back and okay. Now, yes, the last image is the one that I, I sent, I sent to you. All right. So that's the last one. So if you're so kind, please go ahead and, 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 and take a look, please. All right. So let me just one second over here. Oops. Sorry. Uh, I need to move something in here. Okay. Let me just erase something that I did in here, but that, that by mistake, I, I did something wrong over here. So let me erase this. Okay. All right, so that's much better. So let's go back to the previous image here. So as you can see, it says giving direction. So for example, this is, I mean, these, these are the, uh, let's say the questions that you will be asking in the places that you need to go to or, or the places that you need to get to. For example, maybe you're asking, excuse me, right? Excuse me, could you tell me the way to the hotel? And what's your point of reference? So you are over here, right? So you are, this is where you are, you know, you are at. This is, okay, this is going to be your point of reference. For example, if I'm asking you, 
So, excuse me, could you tell me the way to the hotel or could you tell me how to get to the hotel? You can say, go straight, go up, go down, walk up, go down, turn right, turn left. It's on the corner of, and etc. It's between, next to, behind. You can actually say it in front of, but I don't know recommend, all right? You, you, it's better if you say across from and opposite, right? Like this one, okay, you can say that. So for example, you, you are going to get to the, uh, on the first one, it's to the hotel. The next one, is there a post office near here? Could you help me? I need to go to the supermarket. Uh, good morning, could you tell me how to get to the school? Excuse me, do you know where the stadium is? Excuse me, could you tell me where the closest bank is? So, where are you at? Donde están ustedes? Over here, this is where you will start giving directions. So for example, eh, could you tell me the way to the hotel? You, you, you have to say, I'm sorry, you have to say, uh, this is the hotel, right? So go straight on Central Avenue, turn right on Hill Street, go past a uh, river street it's on the corner of king street and hill street and you can also say it's across from the cafe okay so you can say one or two places in there you know go straight go up turn right turn left okay go past right it's in front of it's across it's on the corner etc yes we're good Okay, so I'll be making the, the uh, groups right now. You'll be practicing in groups of three for the next 10 minutes, all right? For the next 10 minutes, and then we will come back over here. So uh, one second. You already have the image and the questions you know to ask for directions already. I send that to the chat. So you have both things in there, okay? So here we go. All right, so the rooms are open. I'll meet you there, all right? I'll meet you there. Lo veo ahí entonces. Okay. We are in the Central Avenue. And we need to go to the hotel. Yes. The hotel. We need to go to the hotel. Okay. Um, eh. Ahí le tengo que responder a dónde está el hotel. Por dónde está el hotel. Como... Usted me tiene que indicar cómo llegar ahí. Ah, okay. The question is, how do I get to, how do I get to the hotel, right? Y, 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 decirme cómo llego. Ajá. Uh -huh. um, no. It's go to, no. No, no sé, ahí, no sé cómo decir. Yeah, I'm sorry. Eh, Flor, ocupemos la, que fra estamos... ocupemos la frase esta, ¿verdad? Go up y después va a mencionar la calle o la avenida. O go straight, ¿verdad? Siga recto, ¿verdad? Go straight on, on Central Avenue. Luego cruce a la derecha. Okay. You know? Go up. Ok, you say go straight. Sí, o, o puede decir go up. It's up to you, all right? Okay. okay I have, let's do something. And Raul, if you don't mind, can you help us? Can you do the first one? Sir. Sure. Okay. All right. Okay. Um, um, uh, and the corner in Hill Street, um, turn right, uh, go past, the pharmacy and opposite is the hotel. 
hotel there is? Yeah, the hotel is on, on yeah, you can say that, it's on. Okay, so you said, so go straight on Central Avenue, uh, turn uh, right on Hill Street, go past the pharmacy. It's, you, you can say it's on, on your left. Uh, the, the, the hotel is on your left, on Hill Street. You can say that, right? Está a su izquierda, está a su derecha, on, right? Lo importante es ocupar las preposiciones como se debe. Okay. And you can also say, right, okay. it's opposite the cafe, right? Yes? Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, you can okay. say that. Okay. Nice. O sea, no... Como que fuera yo taxista. <laughs> Digamos, go to the, go up uh, until no road. Uh, to right and go past to the post office uh -huh. and again on King Street and, and at the left side <laughs> para ganar yeah. el billete, para ganar el billetillo van a la gran vuelta <laughs> correcto yeah you go si sí. i know i know I know. Para ganarle tres pesos más, cinco pesos más. All right. <laughs> nice. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I know. All right. See you, see you around. All right. Near is cerca. No. Yeah. Sí. Yes, sir. Near is cerca. All right. So you can use my Near. screen. Okay. To do the. the uh, I can You can uh -huh. use, yeah, you can use my screen right now, okay? Oh, okay. Okay, the question. Yeah. Uh, ¿Por cuál íbamos en la tercera o ah, no, en la segunda? Excuse me, is there a post office near here? Post office, uh, okay. This is the post office, right? This one. The post office on King Street North Road. Uh, the post office is on post office. Okay. Well, hop, well, hop, and to right on North yes. Road. The post office next to the bank. Okay, yes, yes, that's a good one, right? So you, you, you can also say, Nelson, go straight or, or walk up on Central Avenue, okay? Uh, okay, turn, okay, turn right mm -hmm. and on North Road. Uh -huh, walk up. Um, you can also say, go past, go past the bank and the post office is, is, is on the corner of King Street in North Road, or it's next to the bank, right? It's up to you. Okay. Como decimos en español, mm -hmm. varios caminos llevan a Roma, ¿verdad? Entonces, eh, so this is the case over there, but that's that's good. All right, that's good over there. Okay. So let's co continue, please, with number three, but I have to go, you know? Number three is, could you help Thank me you. or... Una dirección... Yes. Una dirección a la salvadoreña podría haber sido este eh, go ¿cómo sería? Go straight, tele recto. <laughs> Walk up on the Central Avenue. Uh -huh. At or right in the post office is eh, next to the tree almendra. <laughs> Palito de mango, right? <laughs> Yeah, that's how we say it over there. A la par del puesto de los choris. Exactly. A la, par, a la par de los choris. That's what we say, right? Next to the yeah. choris. Next to the choris stand. All right? That's how you say So the next one over here, sir, is could you help me? I need to go to the supermarket. All right? Supermarket. And where is the supermarket? Let's see. It's over here, right? It's on North Road. Here. Right? A supermarket. Right. Uh, but I'll see you. 
I, I have to go, right? To check somebody else. Si alguien comparte pantalla, if you can share the screen, somebody else, pues, that'd be great. Okay? Okay. ¿Cómo, cómo se llama? En... Church. 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 Entonces, bueno, no es que no sé, no sé. ¿Cuál? Porque el supermarket puede ser que esté enfrente de, 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 de la iglesia, en church. Mm -hmm. Across from the church. The church. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. O solo se puede decir eh, eh, en la avenida North Road, nada más. Yeah, you can say it's at the end of North uh, Road. Um, across across from the uh, the church just like that you can say that next to um, un, hey. árbol, un árbol de almendra right you can say that right <laughs> almost <laughs> <laughs> yeah because you have it there right <laughs> <laughs> the mango Cuando uno ve en el bus y le dice, bájese ahí por el rosal, y uno encuentra muchos rosales, hay veces, una rosa ahí en la calle. Ay, güey, sí. Yeah. Yeah, I know. I know. Eh, teacher, si yo quiero decir eh, que camine, o sea, go straight to the Central Avenue uh, from the, the, across, ¿sí? across from, no. North on the road. corner on the Central Avenue in North Road and North Road. Yeah, you can say and that. And turn left. Yes. And correct. turn left. Yeah, but you don't you don't have to Pass say the hospital. Mm -hmm. Pass the hospital. Uh, 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 the supermarket. The supermarket is, is the on the left, on the right. But on the on the right. Yes, on the oh, right. Okay. Correct. Yes. You say go straight on Central Avenue, turn uh, left on North Road, go past the hospital and uh, the supermarket, it's on the right across from the church. Okay. Uh, okay. Across from the church. Okay. You can you can also say go up mm -hmm. on Central Avenue, uh, turn left on North Road go past the hospital and you can say the church. So the supermarket okay. is on the uh, on the right. That's important to say if it's on the left or it's on the right. Okay, that's very important. Mm, okay. Mm -hmm. And then- Aquí estaba queriendo hacer la traducción de llegué a la esquina de la North Road eh, sobre, y la Central Avenue. Y luego, y luego, luego crucé a la, cruce a la izquierda. A la no, izquierda. no solamente dice cruce en tal calle. Ahí ya le sabe que es la esquina, right? Uh, it's okay. the corner, mm -hmm. so it's understandable already. Okay. O sea que no tenemos que mencionar este. No, solo para solo para. Sí, vaya, como en el hospital, sí, verdad. If I ask you, so how do I get to the hospital? So you have to say, go straight uh, on Central Avenue, and uh, on you can say Antio, verdad. On, on turn left on North Road. The hospital is on the corner of North Road. In Central Avenue. Yeah, okay. Okay, because you are locating it. Okay, you are locating the, the hospital, los está ubicando, right? Mm -hmm. como una ubicación más exacta, digamos, pero, exactly. Pero, so you're being uh, a specific, an exact location, specific. exact location, correct? Okay. Yes. All right. Okay. Nice. All right. So see you around. So you may okay. continue. <laughs> okay. okay. Thank you. Hey. Uh, Excuse me. And 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 King King Street. Creo que podemos poner que está enfrente, enfrente del parque. Dice. Punto it. Entonces ponemos punto it. Punto in, in it. On. On, ¿verdad? On, on the, ajá, on the, quiero ver. Sí, on, on, on front the park. Teacher. Yes, sir. On front. 
Yes. Eh, How can I help you, sir? No, 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 no sé si lo estamos haciendo bien. Fíjese que eh, estamos con esas preguntas, ¿verdad? Y yes. entonces. Hold on. Let me share the screen. Yes. Yo le comparto pantalla, si gusta. Yes. Ah, okay. Okay. Entonces. Estamos haciendo estas preguntas y luego nos estamos yendo hacia la imagen y tratamos de ubicarlo. Yes, yes, correct. Eso es lo que tiene que ser. La respuesta. Ah, ok. <ríe> Entonces, la cuestión es que estamos, ahorita hemos hecho dos. Ok. So you, you do the eh. hotel, the hotel and the post office. Bien. ¿Verdad? Do, do, dos direcciones sí. han dado para llegar a, al hotel y a, la, y a la oficina postal, al correo. Sí. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Sí. Yes. ok. Uh -huh. Ok. Mira, hay varias formas. Me decía Raúl, si usted uh -huh. es un taxi driver, se va a ir a dar lo más largo, ¿verdad? De long distance, ¿verdad? Pero si es, usted va manejando y quiere ahorrar gasolina, va a ir a la dirección más corta. <risa> Entonces, uh -huh. claro. ok, so. Let me ask you, so, Cesar, what option do you have? Remember that the point of reference or punto de referencia is Central Park. I'm sorry, Central Avenue, which is here. Mm -hmm. Primero, ubiquemos en el mapa, so let's locate where the, the place that we're looking for is. Nuestro lugar que andamos buscando. So the hotel is over here. Mm -hmm. Y para cuestiones de práctica, la post office. Vamos a ver dónde. Ayúdenme, por favor. Estoy medio... Aquí está. Enfrente del hotel. <laughs> It's in front of the hotel. Del parque también. Ah, ah, yeah, yeah I got it's it. It's on yes. the corner of North Road. It's, it's and over here. King right? Street. Okay. okay. I, I found it over here. Thank you. I remember that it's here in the proposition. Okay, so, Cesar, si gusta, entonces va a decir usted, go straight or walk up, independientemente, dele recto, dice usted, go straight. Para ubicar el, el, el post office. Ajá, para el hotel, digamos, ahorita, si gusta. Ah, el hotel. Ajá, go straight or Fíjese walk up. Que... Nosotros lo habíamos puesto así, miren. Uh -huh. eh, turn left on King Street. Doble a la, dere a a la derecha. Okay. En la eh, King Street, que sería King? la calle que está frente al hotel. Across right. from the park. Across está a cruzar el parque. Ok. All right. Sí, o sea, está bien. La, la cuestión está que usted viene de abajo, ¿verdad? Viene donde están estos dos muchachitos. Okay. Ajá, olvidamos la, el Central Avenue. Ajá, Ajá, entonces usted tiene que decir de dónde parte, por dónde pasa. Yo pasando iba. <ríe> y luego, o sea, siga recto en Central Avenue, luego doble la, la derecha, derecha en Hall Street, King, luego doble a la izquierda en King Park. Ah, Ajá. ok. Exactly. Y, y, ah, y, lo, y lo, no. lo puede hacer de varias formas, si, si gusta. You, you can do it this way. So go straight on Central Avenue, uh, turn right. On Hill Street, ok, y ya puede decirme, pase la farmacia, go pass, go pass, pase, ah. go pass, the pharmacy, y luego ya me puede decir el lugar, the hotel is on the left, you know, it's on Hill Street, it's on the left, ¿verdad? Está a la izquierda, porque usted va caminando así, ¿verdad? Entonces, uh -huh. ok, y ya me puede decir, para enfatizar más, más específico, me va a decir, it's, pero no, no lo encuentro, ¿dónde está? Así nos pasa, ¿verdad? It's across from the cafe. Or, or, it's, or it's on the corner of, ya me puede decir on the corner of, King Street and Hill Street. ¿Verdad? Sí. Porque queda aquí en la esquina, right? Es correcto. Ah, ajá. Sí. Ajá. Entonces, varias opciones tenemos, ¿verdad? Y me puede decir, it's across or opposite the park. Ah, entonces, usted ya sabe, de, re, de repente, aquí en la referencia, ok, I know it's in here, or it's Across from the cafe, hoy pasando la farmacia. Ok. Eso lo, lo usamos nosotros en español, ¿verdad? Pase la farmacia, ¿verdad? Ok. Va a pasar, así, va a pasar un rot, va a pasar una pasarela, dicen, ¿verdad? Sí, como yeah. todo, como buen salvadoreño dando uh -huh. direcciones. Exactly, that's what we say, But you're, you're good. Solamente hay que recordar, dar el punto de referencia, partir de ahí, y luego usted puede tomar el, el long eh, way or short way, ¿verdad? Tomás. Distancia larga o corta. So, it's up to you. All right? Okay. So, it's up to you. Let's do just one more. And uh, we will come back to the main station to give you the feedback para dar retroalimentación. All right? Okay. One more over there.
Entonces, si gusta, siga compartiendo. Share the screen, please, again, eh, Cesar, if you don't mind. Perfect. Thank you. Ah, okay. ¿Dónde está el estadio? ¿Dónde vuelan las pedradas? De Goa, Central Avenue. En Vietnam. Vietnam, cabal. All right, so what question are you working on right now? Excuse me, do you know where the stadium is? Ah, where the stadium is, right? El Mágico o el... Montserrat Coloso. <laughs> Montserrat, right? Yeah, correct. <laughs> okay. Okay. Central Avenue. Uh, go straight, say, remember, uh, Oscar. Go straight on Central Avenue. Go straight on Central Avenue. Uh huh. Or go up or algo por el estilo. Uh huh, exactly. Del record. Yes, Oscar, go ahead, please. Le congeló la pantalla. Sí. <laughs> All right, so, si, si gusta, Flor. Okay. Eh, at Goat, uh, bueno. <laughs> que siempre se me olvida. No, Goat Street, the, and the Goat Street, the Central Avenue, uh, Tall Rhine, the... North Road. North Road, yes. North Road. Um, next to... Go past the post office. Uh -huh. You can say go past, correct. Pase, tal cosa, right? La pasaré. Ah, okay. <laughs> go past the post office. Eh, enfrente, enfrente se dice... In front. Uh, opposite. Or across. Uh, opposite, opposite or across from. Opposite, opuesto, esquina across. opuesto. Uh, across okay. from? Across from the gas station. Yeah, that's, that's okay. That's okay. That's great. <laughs> nice, we did it, we did it now. So uh, let's come back to the main station, please. So we can do some uh, practice in general and then I'm gonna let you go to rest. All right. Okay. okay. Thank okay. you. So just one second, please. Now, yes. All right, so welcome back everyone. It's almost time to go to sleep over here. So uh, before we go and rest, all right, let's do a couple of practices in here, if you don't mind, please. Okay, right now I will not ask you, you know, to tell me the directions in here. Instead of doing that, in lugar de hacer eso, I'm going to help you, uh, let's see, by, by uh, giving you an example. All right, I will do the last one because maybe some of some of you didn't have a chance, no tuvieron oportunidad, of you know getting to the bank in there. I think there is only one bank bank in this image, right? Creo que solo un banco, right? I think this is the only one. Am I correct? Is this the only one? Vamos a ver todas las pantallas over there. Yes, right. Yes, that's the only one, right? Yes. All right. Thank you, sir. So. This is actually pretty simple, right? Because you, what's your point of reference? It's Central Avenue. So you can say walk up, oh, I'm sorry, walk up or go up or go, go straight on Central Park, go past the park, all right? The uh, bank is on the corner of North Road and uh, uh, Central Avenue. Y yo ya voy a reforzar, it's on the right. All right, or I can also say it's across from the hospital, all right, or it's opposite the hospital, okay, or across from the movie theater or the theater over there. So you can give, or you, I can also say, yes, thank you, Raul, and it's next to the post office. So you have 
many options. You, you may say uh, it's behind or behind the park. You, it, it also depends on your point of reference, depende de su punto de referencia. And for example, I can also ask you, esta no es parte de lo que les pedí, pero lo pueden hacer, ¿verdad? So uh, how can I get to the firehouse? And then you can say in here. So go straight on Central uh, Avenue, turn uh, left on Hill Street, and go uh, past the school. Um, the firehouse is on the corner of Maple Street and Hill Street across from the police office, uh, I mean, police station. And you can also say uh, opposite the school, something like that, right? Pero como decía uno de ustedes, if you are a taxi driver, you will go <laughs> on Central <laughs> Avenue <laughs> all the way to North Road, okay? Go past the supermarket and then turn left on, on Maple Street, go past the, the school. The firehouse is, uh, opposite the school on the uh, on the right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, ya le ganaron 10 dólares, ¿verdad? Por esa carrera. <laughs> so you have to pay 10 dollars. So as you can see, what's good about this exercise is that you have many possibilities, right? You have many possibilities over here. Tomorrow is the last day of class. You should be happy because we almost made it. And tomorrow is going to be full practice. O sea, mañana espero que no se pierda. Podemos, de hecho, hasta tardarnos un poquito más. Eh, y para que practiquemos, so we can practice basically what we, what we have a cover so far. El verbo to be, verb to be, direction, simple present, just no questions, wish questions, uh, prepositions of time, prepositions of, of places, given directions, etc., etc. There is and there are. So tomorrow is going to be full practice. All right? So please try to be there. It's the last effort, but the último esfuerzo for tomorrow. But in the meantime, con esta me despido. So have a great night and hope to see you tomorrow. Teacher. Okay. Uh, yes, por cierto. Es hasta las 11 mañana. Um, déjeme verificar. Por un mensaje que recibimos varios. Vaya, le, le voy a comentar lo siguiente. Esta vez va a ser una excepción que es el precio a pagar de las clases en línea. Si de repente en la, la plataforma falla, ya sea que falla en mi computadora o falla en el, en el servidor de inglés corporativo, siempre hay fallas y eso pasa de vez en cuando, no se graba la clase. ¿okay? Entonces, ese tiempo, ustedes han perdido una hora por el tiempo que no se grabó. Eso pasó el miércoles pasado. El miércoles pasado, que es un día bien pesado para ustedes y para mí, porque estamos desde las 8 hasta las 11, me toca a mí, y de repente cuando yo subí el video, me fijé, ok, solo se grabó una hora, de las 8 a las 10, cuando la computadora no me dio ninguna señal de que no se estaba grabando. Yo a cada rato estoy en la parte izquierda que dice grabando. O cuando ustedes están compartiendo pantalla, ah, está grabando. No me dio ningún indicio de que no se estaba, entonces no se grabó una hora. Y los técnicos han estado buscando a ver si está en el servidor de Zoom o, o, o está en, en YouTube y no pudieron dar otra solución. Así que la salvedad es lo siguiente. Si usted tiene el 80% de las horas, puede quedarse las tres horas, dos horas y media. Si usted ha estado en, la, en todas estas clases las cuatro semanas, prácticamente usted ya tiene el 80%. ¿Ok? ¿Ok? Así que después de las dos horas es opcional. ¿Ok? Mañana hay mucho trabajo porque tenemos la encuesta, okay. tenemos la práctica y eso les iba a comentar, pero necesitaba yo que me, que me confirmaran, ¿verdad? Coordinación, ¿verdad? Entonces, no es culpa de ustedes, falló el sistema y bueno, me disculpo porque la verdad es pesadito estar en un día viernes, tres horas. La única ventaja es que es el último día, ¿verdad? Y podemos aprovechar para practicar. Y la otra semana es descanso. ¿verdad? Entonces, es lo único, ¿verdad? Eh, ah, no había... que iba a mandarle las direcciones. <risa> para que nos mandaran la cena. <risa> sí, ¿verdad? <risa> Pero pues bueno. sí. Sí, tiene razón. Ok. Tiene razón. So, but thanks for asking. No, no había recibido notificación yo, de hecho. All right. 
Um, mm, okay. All right. So okay. see you tomorrow. Okay. Good. Night. Good night. Bye bye. Good night. Good night. Good night, teacher. Good night. All right. Goodbye, sir. Bye.